what's up welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Too Faced Too Faced Bomb Bonds palette I literally winged this whole look and I'm so happy with how it came out you guys have like, no idea, I'm so happy with how it came out. And I was able to use a lot of colors because I didn't want to do something just really basic and neutral, and yet I didn't want to use the pinks yet because I plan to do that for something closer towards Valentine's Day. So if I sound a little nasally, I have a cold. Like, seriously, I just had a cold, got rid of it. Got a cold again. <laughs> but anyways, um, this palette, you guys. <sighs> Giving me so much life. I was able to use actually a lot of Too Faced products today, which I'm really happy about because you guys know that's like my favorite brand. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. Remember to please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and comment down below for any future tutorials that you guys would love to see. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, let's get this started. So I already have my face primed, foundation on, brows, and I'm using Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color called Sand. And now let's get started with the Bon Bon's palette. I'm so excited to use this palette, you have no idea. So the first color that I'm actually going to use is the color called Divinity. And this is just a very light cream base color. And I'm just gonna spread this all over my eye. Then, the next shade that I'm going to use for our transitioning shade is going to be the color Almond Truffle. This is a very light shade. It kind of has like a mauve tint to it. And I'm just going to use this as our transitioning shade. And this color you kind of have to build up depending on your skin tone. I am a little more on the tan side, so it's something that I definitely had to build up, but I love the color nonetheless. In my crease, I'm going to use the color called Black Current, which is a deep plum shade. A very very beautiful dark purpley shade I'm gonna pop this right into the fold of my crease and I don't typically use shimmer in my crease but this time I kind of went outside of the box and I'm so happy I did because the color is so beautiful and it came out literally you guys so flawless I was so happy with my eyeshadow I can't even tell you then the next thing that you're gonna want to do after that is just make sure that you get your blending brush and blend all the colors nicely and evenly together so there's not a harsh transition now for the next step, I'm going to use a color called Berduo. I can't pronounce this right, but I'm pretty sure it's Berduo. And I'm going to pop this onto the outer part of my crease and in the inner part of my lid. I'm going to create a sandwich eye. And I'm using a blending brush because I slowly want to build up these colors. I still leave the plum shade in the center of the crease because I want a really nice dimension and contrast in between the colors. So you just want to slowly build this up. Don't get too carried away and, you know, just have fun with it. Now for the center of the lid, I'm going to use a color called Satin Sheets and the color called Cafe Ou Latte, or I'm pretty sure it's Latte, but it's spelled in French or whatever. <laughs> and I'm going to pop this right into the center of my lid. It's going to create a very beautiful contrast in between all the colors and it's going to provide kind of like this taupey champagne payoff, which is so beautiful. Then to deepen up the outer corners, I use a color called Dark Truffle. And it's just a very dark brown. It has a little bit of bold reflex to it, which is so beautiful as well. And I'm using my MAC 222 brush, which is a little bit more dense and narrow to just make sure that I stick along that crease. Now for my highlight and my inner tear duct, I'm gonna go back with satin sheets and just pop that underneath our brow bone just to enhance all these colors together. Unfortunately, I didn't get a snapshot of the liquid liner that I used, but it is from Jouer and it is just a felt tip liquid liner. The intensity payoff was absolutely amazing, but unfortunately, the applicator was a little bit too stiff, so it was kind of hard to work with. So if you like that, that would be great for you. Otherwise, I just don't recommend it. Then I mixed in two concealers to highlight underneath my eyes and on my face. So I used Maybelline in the color called Light into the inner part of my under eyes, just because that's where I really want to brighten. And then I use the Naked Skin Concealer all over to highlight. To 
set the concealer, I use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which I love. This is my tried and true. It does me no wrong, and it just works absolutely amazing for me. Then for underneath our lash line, I ended up going back with the color called Almond Truffle and also mixed in the dark truffle underneath my lash line, kind of just deep it up and add more depth. Now for mascara, I went back with the Essence Lash Princess. This is actually my go-to mascara right now just because it provides so much volume, so much drama, and so much length. I'm absolutely loving it, and I think it's honestly like $5 or less at Ulta. It's amazing. Then I got a horrible shot of this, but I used Cara Lashes, which they are $1 on shopmissa.com, and this just provided more length. Now for bronzing up our whole face, I went with the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Ugh, this is such a great bronzer. I love it so much and it smells so good. So I just put it all over my face, um, just where I wanted to bronze up and contour. I even put some on my nose. And then to highlight, I ended up using the same little palette that I have and I used the color called Snow Bunny, which is just a few different strips and just highlighted on top of my cheekbones. It provided a light highlight. It wasn't too intense, which I liked, so that was totally fine with me. Now for lips to finish off the look, woohoo! I'm using NYX lip liner in the color called Mauve, Snob lipstick from MAC, and I'm also using a Mali Beauty lip gloss, and I believe the color is called Starburst. I will definitely leave it down below. So that is the final look. I'm so happy with how it came out and I hope you guys also liked it as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. That would be so bomb. Comment down below because you guys know I love communicating with you guys. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Welcome. I hope you do subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.